do shoe salesmen in Africa have to do with your 2021 business plan? Stay tuned and I'll tell you. So everybody begins the new year with a heart full of hope, ready to take on the world, right? New year, new you, and everybody's very, very excited. But soon, you know, the, the, the time ticks on, excitement fades and so forth, and sometimes you find new years, just the same old you, right? But, but what you need to do is capitalize on the hope because you, you need to, to, to be inspired to make this year different from the last year, right? But unfortunately, hope is not a business plan. So that old saying goes, if you're not, uh, 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 if you're failing to plan, you're planning to fail, right? But what you really need to realize is in the beginning of the year, you need to set the course that's going to take you through the next 12 months. How do we do that? Well, there's an interesting thing. It's, it's, it's about finding opportunity, seeing opportunity where you did not see it before. So as I mentioned, uh, two shoe salesmen in Africa, right? A uh, shoe salesman from the United States sends one uh, salesman over to Africa to, uh, to see if there's any business there. So he goes there, he comes back a week later, and he's got his shoulders all slumped down, he's really upset, and his boss says to him, hey Charlie, how did the, uh, how did the sales trip go? And he said, you know boss, terrible. He said, why, why is that? He said, I went there, and nobody was wearing shoes where I visited. He said, there's, there's just no opportunity in, in, in the country where I went to. And he said, oh, okay, all right. So he sends his other guy, you know, Charlie's cousin, Brian. Brian comes back a week later, fired up. Why is that? And his boss said, hey, Charlie, or how Brian, how did, the, uh, how did the trip go? He said, amazing, boss. He said, why is that? He said, because no one was wearing shoes where I visited. So it's all a question number one, of perspective, and more importantly, number two, of seeing an opportunity where others don't. How can we relate opportunity and perspective to your business this year? If you're trying to create opportunities for yourself on the commercial end, the coronavirus has brought a ton of opportunities. How can we get you into your next commercial deal as quickly as possible? Very simple. Start looking for opportunities. Unfortunately, of the, the four major property types, retail, multifamily, industrial, and office, coronavirus has severely impacted office and retail the most, right? I'm at my office complex right now, and we have maybe, maybe 25% of the cars that used to be here a year ago, right? So what I would start doing, start driving through office complexes, see who's got only a few cars, go inside and, and knock on doors, see if there's any property manager available, see if you can find the owner of that building. Maybe that owner has been unable to lease. Maybe the owner is willing to renegotiate with some of the tenants. There's a host of different ways you can get your foot in the door and get into a, a lease transaction. Maybe you find a tenant that's having a hard time and they need to renegotiate with the, the owner and do what's called a blend and extend. There's a bunch of different ways. So what I would recommend is start looking for opportunities and do something outside of your norm. Go to retail establishments, for instance. Uh, 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 restaurant, let's say that's closed down. Okay. Maybe you, you, you find the owner of the building, you know, he wants a tenant just as badly as, as you want to help him. So he or she is incentivized to try to get that space full again. Maybe you go to strip malls where some stores have gone uh, out of business and, and so forth. Maybe find the property manager, see if you can research the uh, owner of the building, you know, use, use your, your detective skills. But all of these ways are ways of finding opportunity where there wasn't one. Drive around town and find old signs, signs that have been a little bit beat up and tattered. Maybe that residential, I'm sorry, maybe that, that, that um, real estate agent uh, hadn't kept up their, their uh, relationship with the owner. Maybe the owner you know, kind of gave up hope. Maybe you can inject some new hope. So those are three ways that you can find new business where you ordinarily didn't see it. Look for old signs, look for closed down restaurants and retail locations, and look for office complexes that don't have a lot of cars in them. I'm willing to bet there are some tenants that are looking to uh, downsize. There's some tenants that are maybe looking to move out. There is a landlord that's looking to fill his building or her building as well. So start looking at those ideas if you want to get your foot in the door and start closing commercial deals in 2021. If you want advice like this and more, go ahead and reach out to me. I'm going to leave a, a link below. We can set up a strategy session and see how there's other ways that you can get started and getting your foot in the door in commercial in 2021. I wish you guys all the best in the new year and I look forward to speaking to you. Bye-bye now.
if you like the content you saw today, be sure to subscribe down below to my YouTube channel. I post videos like this weekly. I'll see you soon.